Good morning, guys. I just literally woke up, so excuse my voice, my face, my hair. Today is Sunday. It's November 1st. It's a really beautiful day outside. It's really lovely. Oh, and my fiance is coming home. Hello. <laughs> Happy Day of the Dead, by the way. I was going to put my eye drops in, but my fiance just got home and he said he will do them for me. So, can't turn down free service. I want to show you guys what I have to sleep in because it's really hilarious. I think I showed them to you, but I didn't show you what they look like on. Okay, so this is what I have to wear to sleep for two weeks total and this is to prevent me from rubbing my eyes or anything getting in my eye and also the next week to two weeks I have to be really careful about getting any kind of water in my eye so when I take a shower or when I wash my face I have to make sure water does not get in my eye and that's all to prevent infection which is also what the eye drops are for one of the eye drops is an antibiotic and i don't really know what the other one is was i wasn't paying attention but yeah this is what i have to go to sleep in i told my doctor that they were really uncomfortable to sleep in which i mean what are you gonna do he told me i could sleep in these which are the glasses i have to wear when i go outside but i try to sleep in them and i actually feel like they are more uncomfortable because they're harder and they're less flexible like this is a flexible adjustable thing i don't know i have like such an extra pep in my step now that i can see it's amazing so why am i still talking to you with those on okay i don't know so i'm gonna take those off because i don't need to talk to you <laughs> the entire time with my my sleeping goggles on i'm gonna go out today to the park because it's a really beautiful day and i need to do some work for sg so whenever i go outside i gotta put these bad boys on check them out so eventually i'll be able to wear regular sunglasses but for now you know, these are better if I wear these because they actually really cover the whole side of your eyes. So no sunlight will enter and interfere with your eyeballs. I think they look so funny. They just like remind me of like the type of glasses people wore. Like, I don't know, I want to say late 90s. Maybe they were going skiing. I don't know. So I'm going to um, go get my eye drops in and then I'm going to eat some breakfast and then I will hit you guys up when my hair looks better <laughs> and when I'm going to the park. Updating you on whether outside is too bright for me or not. I'm back and my hair is still a mess. Um, I haven't gotten ready for the day yet. I just wanted to note, I just came back from walking my dog outside. And I was wearing those sunglasses I was showing you guys. And it's really, 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 really bright today. Even with those sunglasses on, like, I kind of have a headache now from how bright it was. I mean, I've always had, like, an issue with it being too bright and it giving me a headache one of the many reasons why I don't like sunshine <laughs> like I just prefer when it's cloudy I'm just that type of weird person Ugh, I, I felt it today so I'm hoping like some clouds will come up because I really 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 want to go to the park today I'm definitely gonna let my eyes rest for a little bit because I really feel like that sun like sh my eyeballs feel strained <laughs> my weird guy look at him he's so weird he's just wigging out next time i see you guys i promise i won't look like this hello so it's later on in the day my hair no longer looks ratchet i finally straightened it so i had a phantom glasses moment we were watching the seahawks versus cowboys game and i was on my phone on snapchat and i was like oh the game came back on and i went to look for my glasses to finish watching the game and i was like oh wait I don't need to wear glasses. Yesterday I had the phantom contact moment when I got tired and then today I had the phantom glasses moment. I was like, oh. And it happened to me earlier too. I went like this because I usually like push my glasses up in the most nerdy way possible. 
in the middle instead of on the side. Um, but I did that earlier, just like, it's, it's going to take some getting used to me not having to do that. Like, I don't know, you're just so used to having something on your face or in your eyeballs for so long. And it's just really weird that I don't have to worry about that now. I actually stayed inside all day because it was way too bright. I had high hopes of going to the park but after i walked capone this morning that sun it was just way way too bright so i mean i am like a vampire anyways so i figured i'm just not gonna come out till the sun goes down the sun's finally setting beautiful sunset and we're gonna go eat soon get some grub on oh, i'm hungry now it's pretty safe to walk up home so i'll probably walk in before we leave i don't think i mentioned this in any part at all <laughs> anyways i don't think i mentioned any of this but there's a lot of restrictions like of course i can't wear any eye makeup so that's why i look <laughs> i can't wear any eye makeup also for at least a week i cannot do any strenuous <laughs> exercising or weightlifting. Sorry, my fiance thinks it's funny to keep playing the video over and over while I'm vlogging, like so rude. For at least a week, I can't do any, uh, I can't get water in my eyes. I got to sleep with the goggles for two weeks. I cannot wear eye makeup for at least a week. And then when I do wear eye makeup, it has to be all brand new so that I don't risk getting any infection from <clears throat> old bacteria of makeup and also I can't do any strenuous lift weighting so I can't exercise for a week which sucks because I feel like my energy is like so down from like just being at home and resting I've been at home a lot so I feel really out of shape but I cannot go back to the gym for a week and they said that's because when you're lifting weights you usually squeezing your eyes tight and they don't want you to do that since your eyes are still steel your eyes are still healing you're about to knock the fan down capone look at, look at this little jerk over here he's gonna knock that fan wait how can i get my finger there that that fan there you go he's gonna knock that fan over because he keeps bumping it He's so mad, he thinks he's Neighborhood Watch. Check out that little curly tail. The little Cinnabon down there. Today will be my last daily update. I will update you guys on Friday after my one week post-op appointment. If you guys have any questions for me or anything like that, go ahead and comment them below, up, down. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So this is my first time <clears throat> actually being in the car at night and it's definitely a big difference because um, I still have that halo and glare over lights and since you know all the street lights and the car lights it's just weird it just like I can see clearly it's just there's this haze around each light so it's kind of weird. I could drive because I can clearly see the street. I can clearly see the media and I can see the, sh the street names, all of that, the buildings. It's just weird, like the the halo around like all the lights. It's super weird because I would have that um, with my glasses. It, cr it had a glare, but with this, it's like, it's just different. So, but they said that's going to take, you know, that's going to take some time for that to go away so I'm not worried about it or anything I know it's totally normal but this is just my first time going outside with my new set of eyes so it's weird it's gonna take some adjusting some getting used to so I'm glad that I'm not driving the first time going outside at night Me and Capone are going to end the night. Hi. We're going to end the night. One, I'm sitting on the floor. 
by my dog's bed. He's humping his bed vigorously. That's disgusting. That's his girlfriend. We just came back. After we ate, we went to an Asian foot massage. And I've never had one of those before. And I figured, what the heck? It was the most painful <laughs> massage I've ever had in my life. I felt like I was getting beat up. And I didn't realize people liked to get massaged like that. And I swear I had like the biggest guy out of all three of us. And he smelled like cigarettes. And he was breathing heavily. He was breathing heavily like Hal Capone's breathing right now. That's how, <laughs> that's how hard he was breathing. He is wigging out over there, wigging out. My body feels great now, feels nice, relaxed, especially my feet. The foot massage was great. I mean, they're foot spa, so I would hope the foot massage would be great. The rest of the body um, was a little too rough for me. I felt like the person that was massaging me was gonna break me. And my fiance was telling me, can you get a massage because you just had the LASIK eye surgery? And I was thinking, oh, they're not going to touch my eyes. Why would they touch my eyes, you know? So they're starting with the head, and then they're going around the eyes, and then he starts pressing here, and then he starts pressing here, and then he starts rubbing here. And then I have my eyes closed, and he, pla he places, like, he just lightly taps my eyeballs all like stop i was like stop <laughs> i'm like i just had lasik there were a lot of parts in there i just kept thinking oh my god am i gonna mess up my eyes am i gonna mess up my eyes because it was so painful i was like squeezing my eyes really hard and i'm not supposed to be doing that it was just so painful would I do it again? My fiance says it's because uh, it was the first time I had one done that it's why it was so painful. But he also likes really rough massages. If you're firm to me, you're going to break me. I'm small. I'm fragile. I, my bones are fragile. Like, I'm just not made of that build. On the way back, I feel like... If I want to drive at night tomorrow, I feel like I'm totally cool to do so. I'm getting used to like the halo and like glare being around all the lights. I'm pretty sure I'm okay to drive and everything. And my vision just keeps getting better and better. And I, I also just keep forgetting that I don't need to wear glasses. I keep thinking oh, I have glasses or I keep thinking I have contacts in my eyes. So... Like I said, it's going to take some getting used to. I wanted to make a couple notes before I go. A lot of people have been asking me, like, is LASIK covered by insurance? Honestly, to be honest, I have no idea. I currently don't have insurance coverage. I'm in the process of getting insurance. So at the moment, I honestly couldn't tell you. I do know that the office that I was at, they never asked me anything about insurance. So I kind of feel like... That's something that may not be covered under insurance, or at least under most insurance. How I did it was I basically had mine financed. You usually sign up for a certain amount of time period that you agree to pay it off with no interest. So mine, I, I agreed to 24 months no interest, which is really great. So I have two years to pay that off. And people were asking about price. Everyone's price is going to be different according to your eyes, according to what procedure, what technology, where you live. All the prices are going to vary. The price that I paid in total was $26.50. I had bladeless technology. It was all laser. It specifically had to be laser because I guess I have really round corneas. There was just not even an option for me to have anything other than bladeless. I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive uh, from what I was hearing around town. Other people had gotten really high um, consultation uh, rates. I would just suggest you do your homework but definitely pick someone who's very reputable. Really do your research. I mean you really don't want to go to the cheapest person. You really want to go to the best person. It's better if you can save or figure out a way that you can pay it and have it you know, the most up-to-date technology, the best way 
from the best doctor really versus going a cheaper route and maybe not having such a great experience or even such a calming experience because for me personally not only was the office great the staff great the technology great but the doctor himself he was great amazing at the procedure but he was also great as a person a really relaxing really calming personality everyone is terrified of getting this kind of procedure done i happen to have extreme anxiety in life in general so you can add those two things together and you can imagine how i felt but he really did talk me through the entire procedure which I really, really honestly appreciated. So like I said, if you live in Las Vegas, I would definitely recommend Dr. Richard Rothman. He is at LASIK of Nevada. If you live anywhere else, like I said, I would just honestly suggest you to do your your research and really just um, see who has the best re reviews, see who has the most up-to-date technology um, because it's your eyes and it really is worth the investment. It's just like braces. Um, I really honestly think that it's life changing and it's worth the investment if it's something that's going to make life easier for you, if it's going to make you feel better about yourself, then I definitely think it's worth the time at least to look into and you can always get a free consultation and just plan from there. So um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to comment me down below. And then till my next appointment, I will see you guys in another vlog later. Bye.